Oh, wow. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. That felt amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to like explain how that felt. So here we are again. We have Illy and we have Jeremiah. We just shot Jeremiah's video, so I'm gonna put it in the link below. Uh, they're friends, they came here together. You guys also train together, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, they both pursue uh, martial arts, uh, mixed martial arts. We'll talk about that in a second, but definitely check out Jeremiah's video. It came out great. Uh, some great cracks, too, exactly. right? It was. Yeah. Amazing. A lot of good results. Definitely. So thank you. And so he's going to just sit and watch and be right here, and we're going to start with Illy. Okay. Um, Illy, this is your first experience, yep. though, right? Getting a chiropractic adjustment. Is it scary? Not scary? I'm a little anxious. Okay. But I'm also just excited and happy to be here. Oh, well, thank you. How long have you pursued um, mixed martial arts? Is For it a, about a, eight months now. Yeah, and are you enjoying it? I love it. Yeah? Yeah, it's honestly kicking my butt, but it also feels really amazing, so. Oh, that's good. Which which forms are you doing? So I started with boxing. I'm doing kickboxing now. I'm transitioning into jujitsu. And, yeah. and doing jujitsu soon, yeah. too? Okay, great. And do you have a uh, UFC fighter that you uh, admire that you right like? now I'm still learning about them, but Rose yeah. Namajunas is definitely up there for yeah. me right now. Yeah, and um, she's amazing. Yeah, she yeah, is. and she seems uh, to come from the heart so yeah. much, right? She's she, a lion. She's a lion, but she puts every bit of emotion into it as well. Mm -hmm. I think that's unique about her. Like she gets all passionate, passionate, yeah. tears, everything, but she fights like a like a warrior. Yeah, so it's great. So let's get you started. What, what are some of your bad spots today? Uh, I want to say my back for sure, my knees, and my toes. Okay. Back, knees, toes. Remember that because I might forget. Okay. So I won't forget. <laughs> so put your nose straight down and we're okay. going to get you, we're going to start looking and evaluating and seeing what we see, okay? So one of the things I'm going to have you do is drop your arms on these forearm pads okay. and turn your head all the way to the right and then all the way to the left. Which way is it harder to turn, head left or head right? Left. Point to where you feel the tightest spot. Right. So she's pointing to the top of the trap. The segment here is T1, T2, head back to center. Rose um, keeps her hair short like you. Yeah, They're she both, does. You know, Thug, thug Rose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's her nickname, right? Thug? Yeah. I like that nickname, it's fun. My coach calls me Tails. Tails? Yeah. Why? Uh, apparently I remind him of that character from Sonic for some reason. Oh, from Sonic, that's fun. Yeah. Apparently I also just, when I stand in my stance, I poke my bottom out a little more than I'm supposed to. Okay. Yeah. So there's the tail again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here, ten, turn your face this way so we can hear you better. Okay. It's a good community though, right? Yeah. People you hang out with and train with. It's funny because we beat each other up, but we still care for each other so much. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. Yeah. So now I'm digging my thumb into her trap on the left, and I'm just digging that out. That should almost hurt a little bit because I'm, I'm really yeah. digging in deep. So head back to center. I'm gonna try to do one little adjustment on T1. So I'm on T1 like this. Here, look at me for a second. So I'm on T1, and I'm on the spinous of T1. And I'm gonna push the spinous across. I'm gonna support as much as her neck as possible so the whole chain doesn't go. So in this case, I don't want a million pops. I wanna get this one especially. Now she says she pops pretty easy, so that means she might have hyper, hyper, a little hypermobility. And if anything, even though I can light up a lot of pops, I want to pick the ones that I want to pop and leave the ones alone that might be fine and I want to leave alone. So not always is the popping or the cracking a successful adjustment because you could crack something and it makes it worse or you can crack something and you can make it better. You can also not crack something and make it better, meaning it doesn't make a pop. Like when I work on horses, dogs, pigs, chickens, goats on my Animal Cracker channel, which would be fun for you guys to check out if you haven't seen it, 
um, animals don't always make a loud pop, but I can make an improvement if I correct the alignment and take stress off the nervous system. So it just depends what the goal is and the outcome you're looking for. So here I'm on that T1. Nope. Oh, there it goes. Oh. That was it. Oh my goodness. So you heard that one, right? Yeah. Illy, are you yeah. okay? I'm so good. Are you tapping out or you're no, good? No, I'm not. I'm tapping because <laughs> so I think I told you I can crack all of my bones, but when I crack my neck, I can never get yeah. that part. So and, that's a oh. spot. And this is a good point that she's also making is because a lot of times when we crack our own necks, we get the spot that always goes but we can't get the spot we wish we could get. And so let's say there's seven bones in your neck and you're able to get T, uh, C1, 2, 3, and 4 to go and crack really well. But maybe the one you need most that day is C6 or C7. And that's the one spot that doesn't release when you try. And so I'm looking for those a lot too. I'm looking for the one that hasn't moved in a while. Now turn your face to the left and see if it's different. Remember it was tight? Oh, wow. There was actually a stinging sensation when I would turn to the left and it's mm -hmm. gone now. Okay, good. So we're, completely gone. So we only did one spot. We already made some changes. And let's keep going. Now I'm going to feel the neck here. And you're really locked up right there. Yeah. I'm really tense, Doc. Yeah. I might want to adjust that one face down. So here's the spot, though. Do you feel that one? Yeah. I so that's C2. It. And all the muscles around it are tight. So get in really close for this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Goodness. Wow. Heard it. I felt it and it felt amazing. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now turn your head left and right and see what it's doing now. Oh. Wow, the mobility is just crazy. This is amazing. This one's really good. Good. Whoa, that. And there's more. <laughs> I'm excited. There's already. more. Now I'm going to have you turn your back, okay? Okay. We're going to stick with your neck for a little bit. I just adjusted C2 on the left. Now we're going to look at the top right. Put my hands back here. I'm going to come right in here. So this is... C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. Mm -hmm. Do you feel C5 is locked mm -hmm. on you? So up here, not bad. Let's do one more time. One, two, three, four, five. It's mm -hmm. stuck. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that was C5. Wow. Wow. Jeremiah just said he felt that watch it. Yeah. Whoa. This is, thank you for bringing me here. You're okay. Thank you for inviting me. This is crazy. You're welcome. This is amazing. Good, good, good. So there's more to do, oh, okay? Wow. Now, Jeremiah, I'm going to have you come down here and help me, okay? Just getting so, all the spots I just. So Jeremiah's going to hold your feet like this. Here, watch me, everybody, on the camera. So you're going to put your arms like this, and then you put your hands right up here. Okay? And her, look behind me. Her foot is behind my back. Okay? It's not a leg lock. We're not doing uh, okay. we're not doing No submissions, guys. No submissions. No. <laughs> and you, don't, you don't have to do much. Just that. Now, focus on us up here. And I'm going to just do a little bit of a stretch now with a little bit of a pull. Is that okay with mm -hmm. you? Okay. Let me get this chair away. So I stretch like this. And let's do another one. Big breath in. Let's do one more. <coughs> there we oh, go. Wow. Did you feel that pull? Yeah. Where did you feel it? I want to say like down on the back of mm -hmm. my neck. And so that's kind of a modified way 
Uh, it's a little bit of a ring dinger motion. It's a little bit of a barehanded axial distraction. Um, but I didn't want to overdo it with you because you were also concerned about doing too much in your neck. Mm -hmm. So that was a way I could just get a little decompression without, without overdoing it. Scoot down towards me. There's more to do with her. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to, thanks for your help, by the way. That really was nice. I'm going to come into here and get T2 and T3. So here's T2, T3. I'm going to put my fingers under there and set it up. Ready? Big breath in and blow it out. Got it. Whew. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, wow. My back is just starting to feel so loose. I just can feel that I'm going to have mobility in my back that I haven't had in years, literally. And like I, like I keep telling you, I'm able to crack so many bones in my body, but right now I'm realizing that I don't get to the spots that I need to, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And wow. that's, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the ones that you can't reach. Yeah, these are so wild. There's the easy ones, but then there's the tough to get spots. Yeah. So I'm trying to really find those tough to get spots. And here's another one, okay? Bam. Oh, wow. How many did you hear on that one? There was like three or four on that yeah, one. Yeah, that's right? what I thought. Yeah. Wow. Good. So I'm going to take your wrists now. Wrists feel pretty good. Wow. I was actually excited for him to start doing my fingers. Because my fingers and my toes are like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I felt that in the elbow, right, Doc? Yeah. It went straight through. Yeah. So come stand. Let's see if we can do it. You're going to stand over here. And I feel a little bit here through the radius. So we have to totally rotate. You're going to stand up, though, so you're not going to um, curl down with me. Here, uh, stand sideways. Stand sideways. Or, you know, straight to camera, okay. but for me. That one's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That I felt. You felt that one? <laughs> yeah. Come turn this way. Now that elbow's good. Yeah. All right. There's more. Lie on your back. Oh, goodness. I feel that's the end. So let's come down here. Stay right where you are. Just lie back and have the camera close up on here so you can see. So I'm feeling this in here. She has good flexibility, but I still think it's stuck a little bit. So I'm going to come in here. Got it. Good crack. do this one next. Can I move the sock just yeah. a little? All right, I'll take the sock off. Okay. Good, so I'm going to come in here. Got it. Oh. You can feel that. this down to the side. Now I'm going to have you lie on your side facing me. We still have the lower back to do. I think you're going to find this very interesting. So drop your head like this. I'm going to take your head. All right, so I'm going to open up this lower back. 
right in there. Can I lower this just an yeah. inch? So I want to see which spot. Okay, so here's L5, L4. L5 is the one that's really stuck, so I have to get that. to like explain how that felt. Wow. Doc. <laughs> Yo, he said his spots I didn't even know needed to be hit right now. Good, good. You so needed that. Because yeah. I think you've been locked up for a while. So locked up. Oh yeah. my goodness. And you don't realize how locked up you are until you get in the library. Wow. <laughs> so come stand for a second. Touch if I can. Right where you are. And touch your toes. Should be looser. Yes, I can even like, wow, the flexibility is crazy. I can, this is crazy. And come down low so you can see her. Go down there one more time. I can like reach pretty far right now. Now we still have one more side to do, okay? So let's do that. Yo. So now you're gonna line your side this way. And we can leave the camera on that side so they can see this part of your back, okay? Getting you off your shoulder. Oh, no, you don't have to. <laughs> Just being on the video is a nice thank you. Everybody gets to enjoy the enjoy the process. Are you stuck on the Velcro? Yeah, I don't know if that's like yeah, it's obstructing you. No, but it's good to it's good to get out of the way. So I want this hip to tuck under a little bit, so it comes through like this. Ready? Let this go. One more. Two two deep ones, but they weren't loud like before. But, but those they were, were good. Definitely there. Yeah, they were definitely stuck. Yeah. So lie on your back. So those didn't make crispy, loud pops, but you heard like a dunk, yeah. dunk. And they were in deep, really deep inside, and so they didn't resonate with a big, crispy, loud pop. But that's gonna help you, because I think that one was stuck with like muscle tension as well, or coupled with muscle tension. So you had a little bit of misalignment and compression, but also the muscles were very angry and tight around that section. You know, you're, you're a petite person, but you're also an athlete. You know, you roll, you uh, fight, you kickbox, you're into intense sports. And just because you're not a tall, huge person doesn't mean you don't have an intense life. So you're a tiny athletic person, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's a cool combination because what's great about uh, wrestling or mixed martial arts or things like that is you can just be in your own weight class. So you compete with people your size. Mm -hmm which is nice. I was a wrestler in high school, you know, and never had to wrestle people too, too low or too high above me. It was, you know, you, you, have your, you have your weight class, mm -hmm. you know, and you train with people a little above and below, but for the most part, when you get out to compete, you're with someone very close to your size. Yeah, a fair opponent. Yeah, a fair opponent. So um, come stand one more time now, okay. and, and just move around a little and see how you feel. I feel really good. Yeah. I feel so loose that I don't even know how I'm standing, if I'm being very honest with you right now. And I feel mobile, so mobile. Like I'm ready to go back into the gym and be able to do way more than I've been able to do. Okay. I had no idea I had that much like tightness in my back and now I just feel so free. What was your favorite part? When you cracked my back coming this way, yeah, that toward the end. Oh. And at the beginning when you did my neck, I honestly don't think I had a favorite part because every part felt so good. Great. Well, keep us uh, posted how you do. And um, Don't see me again. So all right. This is amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, goodness. Good. Good.